So we've got six spots in here again. Once again, just to recap, starting in the blue corner, we have Pissed Off Unicorn, driven by Paul. Over towards the Red Hazard, the WD Plastics logo, there is Scoop, driven by David. Then Troubleshooter, driven by Travis. Intensity, being driven by Andrew. Dizzy Dozer from Brian. And then all the way, or Derpy Dozer, sorry. And all the way over by the big blue saw in the Finger Tech Robotics logo is Beaky, driven by Ethan. Once everybody is in position, we'll put five minutes on the clock. Looks like we are ready to start in three, two, one, fight. This is a fight to the death. The last one standing wins. The pushouts are open on both sides. Things flipping all over the place already. Intensity goes flying. Travis on end. What do we got going here? Pissed off Unicorn getting back up to speed. All the spinners working. Derpy Dozer upside down. Scoop trying to find a good position. There's a big pushing match between Beaky and Intensity. I see plastic flying. Somebody lost something there as Intensity goes flying. Oh, geez. Pissed off Unicorn goes flying towards the Red Hazard. Nearly goes out the side. Now bouncing into the Red Hazard. Oh, no. Derpy Dozer unfortunately drives out the red side as he tries to get control of his upside down robot. Intensity in a pushing match. The scoop gets hit from the side by Troubleshooter. Now both of them flying around end on end. Intensity upside down. And what we got here? Beaky upside down. Missing one half of it. Scoop flipping him right side up. Troubleshooter getting flipped over by Intensity. Intensity now on edge. Trying to wiggle around both the wheels and the weapon. Hoping somebody might come and knock him back right side up so he can continue. Scoop coming over saying, hey, I'm going to help. Oh, look at that. Pissed off Unicorn goes flying out the side after hitting Beaky. Now we're down to four. Troubleshooter getting bounced around, nearly missing that blue hazard. His intensity gets underneath him with a good hard hit, getting flipped upside down. Troubleshooter on side, moving around simply by the momentum of his weapon. Intensity bouncing off the blue hazard halfway over the edge. Beaky trying to get a push on him, but can't quite. As Intensity bounces around on the weapon and out the side, down to three. We have Troubleshooter, Beaky, Scoop. And look at Troubleshooter bouncing all over the place. This is not going to end well for him with those two pushouts open. It may come down to the two lifters, but he is definitely the dangerous robot out here. A hard hit off the front of Scoop. Beaky trying to get a push on him, putting himself into harm's way, though, as Travis quickly gets out of the way. Uh, part of Scoop has come apart. The lower wedge half of it, but the lifting arm still working. Troubleshooter riding on the ground, but still functioning. Another hard hit into the wall. Pieces of the plastic coming off of the frame. I don't know why he's losing plastic. He's the only one with a weapon. Now upside down, and Scoop waiting for just the right moment to attack. Getting behind him. He's up on end. The weapon's momentum carrying him. A hard hit. What was that? A wheel off of Scoop. Scoop still moving, despite only having one wheel. Two minutes 40 seconds, Travis in the middle, wondering who he should go after first. There are still two lifters out there. They both look intent on getting the dangerous spinner out of the way. The spinner that has now stopped spinning. There we go. Thought for a moment he might have gotten messed up on that one. Scoop aimlessly moving around. He's only got one wheel, but he can kind of wiggle it if he tries. Beaky, maybe also only with one wheel. Yeah, I think he's only got left side drive. Maybe if you put the two together, they can form one larger robot that can overcome Troubleshooter. But so far, Troubleshooter, the only one working well with 2 minutes and 10 seconds still on the clock. He wants to put them out if he can, but geez, with that weapon, he might find himself going out the side. Oh, a hard hit off the blue hazard, thankfully stopped by Beaky getting in the way. Not good for him, as you can imagine. Now trying to get into maybe a pushing match with Beaky. <laughs> Both of these two pushers just wiggling around helplessly not dead yet but close enough as they get on the wheelbarrow and are pushed towards the edges they still might have a chance here troubleshooter spinning back up yeah it still works which is going to be important because that's definitely going to be the way he's going to finish this one i think not much for pushing as he hits the other wheel on scoop there it's showing quite a bit of damage one more hit and i don't think scoop will be able to do much of anything Still a minute and 20 to go in the ferry and or the uh, ferry rumble. Travis vying for position, hitting that scoop out of the way. I think he wants to finish off scoop more than anything. Seems to not be too worried about Beaky. Not to mention Beaky's probably in a worse position for him. He's more likely to go out on that one. At least he could take one more kill here. But you know what? <laughs> Ethan did just call him on. This sounds like a challenge. Oh, jeez, look at this. He's hovering towards the side. Oh, my goodness. Travis with the biggest grin going, yeah, I meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. Now getting behind Scoop. 
He's also by the red pushout this time. Once again, playing the Matador. Something David loves to do. Calling him on. Come on, hit me. I dare you. Can you push? I don't know. Those big wheels just spin around. Because that's not really what he's meant to do. 30 seconds still on the clock. We would like to see one clear and definite winner. And at this point, you guys, if you're pushing, you might want to start pushing. Because with only 20 seconds left, Troubleshooter's looking pretty solid out there. Not much battery left. They're saying, yeah, he's not meant for a five-minute fight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) It was only supposed to go for three minutes. Ten, nine, eight, seven. They designed these things for three-minute fights. Four, three, two, one. Time is up. I would say this goes to a judge's decision. Let's hear it for him, guys. All these guys putting their robots out on the line so you can watch them get bashed. But I'm going to leave it up to the audience as to who you think was the winner of, of these three limping robots, starting with Beaky over by the blue push-out. Who thinks it was Beaky by show of applause? Thank you, Curtis. <laughs> Curtis with the pity clap. What about David with Scoop missing one wheel but still driving around? Yeah. Ah, the audience thought that was pretty good. So did the builders. But what about Travis's troubleshooter, the horizontal spinning bar? Without a question, Travis deserves the win for the Rumble for the 150-gram flea weights.